뒤에 신입 기자 인방이라고 합니다. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Korean Resource Center. My name is Jonathan Pig. Uh, I'm the Civic Engagement Coordinator at the Korean Resource Center located in Buena Park. Um, and Helen, you want to introduce yourself as well? Uh, my name is Helen Ko. I am the Organizing Director at the Korean Resource Center. Uh, I'm also Campaign Coordinator of NACA. Alright, so, you know, we wanted to uh, welcome you all today to talk about our summer program that we're launching this summer. Um, this is a program that we're going to be launching. Um, targeted specifically for youth um, in Orange County to learn um, a number of skills that uh, deals with organizing, being able to build campaigns, and be able to build power amongst youth. And so, you know, we were discussing, you know, why we wanted to do this. And in Orange County, as you all know, Orange County has been changing really, really rapidly. You know, a lot of Korean Americans, a lot of Asian Americans moving into Orange County, and you know, they have found success in being able to start businesses, start families, uh, be a presence at schools, but what we wanted to, to help do is help cultivate relationships and cultivate power and skills amongst young people to be able to learn how to effectively learn about the issues that face our community, learn about uh, how to build a campaign from step one all the way to winning the campaign. And so, we want to make sure that we're providing these opportunities for Asian Americans locally in Orange County and on how to advocate on behalf of issues that uh, they are part of, on behalf of the communities that they are part of. And so we wanted to provide a place for young Asian Americans, you know, who are students from, you know, 17 to 25 that, uh, you know, really can, you know, provide a space for them to come together, build a strong network, 
and really be able to pro provide a means for them to be able to um, to build professional development skills as well as skills to learn how to build a campaign. Um, and so the goal of the program at the end of the day is to really build a lifelong commitment to public service and, and a, a service to their community um, and so that they can effectively strengthen the voice of their community. Um, the program right now so is seven weeks long, begins in June 22nd. And the program will really deal with um, and education around the issues such as immigration reform, racial justice, civic engagement, and how to really become engaged uh, more effectively in local government and being able to work around issues that impact them. And so for example, we're going to be working on issues that really deal with um, the issues that are happening right now such as deferred action for like DACA and DAPA and really have a component where they're going to be able to learn um, about the issue within a classroom and then be able to translate that into actual practice and training. So, you know, the, the philosophy in our learning is that you learn by doing. And what we want to be able to enable them to do is be able to, one, for us to be able to be a resource for them to learn about these issues, but two, be able to end up being um, being able to be a place where they can s safely learn about how to actually engage with their community. Um, and Heli can talk a little bit more about the logistics and, and what that actually looks like. Uh, so this program will be three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, eight hours every, every time it's held. Um, so it's going to be, again, as Jonathan mentioned, from June 22nd to August 8th. It's seven weeks long, three days a week. Uh, and the, each day there will be two to three hours of classroom time, so we'll learn about the issue. So it'll be more of a lecture or uh, presentation style interactive discussion. And then the remainder of the time, three hours of on-site experience. So that includes they go outside, they're actually working in the community. So doing surveys, petitions, um, and other campaigns related to what they just learned about. So it's both academic and uh, learning about it and also actual on-site experience. So you apply what you learn. And so there's an application process that the students want to apply. We're selecting 10 students, and the criteria is they must be between the ages of 17 to 25. They should be motivated to learn about these issues, interested in social justice. Um, it's an opportunity for them to develop their professional skills. So again, it's targeted towards college students or recent high school graduates, and people who are thinking about what they would like to do professionally in their careers. Um, and they should be committed to working in social justice on immigration or civic engagement or the different issues that we talked about after the program ends. So after August 8th, we hope that they will continue to be engaged and continue to be involved in these issues. And so there's an application, as I mentioned, and the application will have three essays, and you can find that online. Um, the application is found at krcla.org slash summer. You can see it up here. That's the website for the application. And the deadline is Monday midnight, June 8th. Um, and after the applications are all submitted and we review the applications, there will be an interview process before the students are selected. So, you know, we're really excited to be piloting this program. This is going to be a program that um, will provide an opportunity for students who often don't have access to be able to learn these skills in a safe space and be able to provide that through a summer program. It's an intensive program where they're going to be working on issues that impact our community every day. And we're looking forward to having uh, these youth apply and be able to learn these skills so that moving forward that we're able to create a long-term change for our community in Orange County. Um, I would like to now open it up for any questions. Is it first time? Or? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's our first time that we're having an Orange County summer program targeted towards college-age students. <coughs> led by Jonathan, um, also myself, and some other staff members and people from outside organizations. Mm 
have any other questions? Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you thank so much you so for, for your time. time. Really appreciate it. Sure. So the goal of the program right now is really to help youth gain a lifelong commitment to public service. What we want to be able to do is make sure that they have an opportunity to engage with their community locally and be able to learn how they can do this, not only just for the summer, but for the rest of their life. So I think what makes this program special is that we're going to be working on issues that are both very meaningful and impact the community every day. So they're going to be working on issues that um, that will allow them to work on uh, such as work on paths such as being able to organize campaigns, being able to work in policy, being able to advocate for policy that they believe in, and those are you know these are opportunities, especially in Orange County, that are relatively limited right now. Being able to engage with their local community, their local leaders, and so you know what we're going to be able to do is be able to teach them and enhance their ability. To be able to engage effectively to build power. That's something that's very special. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to be discussing really from, you know, big issue topics such as uh, immigration reform, deferred action. We're going to be talking about civic engagement and local government and why people participate, or more importantly, why people don't participate. You know, and then we're also going to be talking about technical skills, such as you know, being able to build a campaign, how to know your voter universe, how to know um, how to talk to a first-time volunteer. These are the type of things that they're going to learn how to do. So they're not only going to be uh, young volunteers for the organization, but they're going to learn how to train other volunteers as well. To be leaders, you know, nine to six or ten to seven? Yes, as of right now, only ten. So my name is Jonathan Pick. I'm the Civic Engagement Coordinator for the Korean Resource Center. Jonathan Pick. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. So you know, right now it's going to be a mix of mix of a few things. One is that they're, they're going to be learning about, um, they're going to be have, receiving education around issues um, such as immigration, racial justice, being able to learn how to engage with their local government. Um, so that, that's going to be a large content of the program. But the, the flip side of the program is they're going to learn how to engage with those issues. So not only learning about it in the classroom, but also being able to learn the skills to build a campaign from step one to a finish of the campaign. So they're going to learn how to build a list of volunteers, they're going to learn how to train volunteers, they're going to learn why it's important to start with knowing who your community is, and really being able to make policy resolutions that will be decided and built by the community. And that's something that I think that's something that we advocate for here at Korean Resource Center, and that's going to be the goal of the program itself. Can you explain how the participate in how to participate in the program. So right now, you know, we have an application process right now. The application will be open, is open right now online um, through our website at krcla.org slash summer. And so right now, uh, the application is live. It's a few questions, a few questions around contact information as well as three essay questions as well. Um, and the deadline right now is June 8th, um, but earlier applications will be, more, uh, will be strongly considered. Um, and so we're hoping that uh, folks who are interested will apply as early as possible. Uh, thank you so much.
이거요? 네. 이거는 아직은 아직은 안 돼요. 정하지 않아서 아, 네. 아직 좀뭐 바꾸고 있습니다. 네. 감사합니다. 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. To, to leave today since the, um, the lack of service that's available oh, that's right. have made it really hard. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's just the three of us, I think. Three years in the teaching Yeah. So TG's there right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I might not be able to make a happy hour. Oh, that's okay. I might okay. go home. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I think. Since she's going to make a happy hour, okay. so okay. it shouldn't be an issue. Oh. Ooh. 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 So it's just uh, that's why DJ is going early to talk about the the pipeline project and all that. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.